Hi, I'm Heath McKinley, Product Specialist for Sony Australia. And I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador. And this is Alpha Insights. This video is all about linear and XD linear motors. So Mark, uh, those are the autofocus motors in the lenses that we've got here in front of us. So what is it about these two particular lenses that you find so attractive? Okay, first thing is um, I think all of the Sony cameras now are able to keep up with rapidly moving subject matter. We just need to match them with a lens that can keep up with the camera. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm used to the fact that all of these white telephoto zooms can keep up with the cameras. Um, and now I'm, I'm not so clued up as which uh, motors are inside these lenses. I just know that if I put one of these lenses on an A7 III or an A9 camera, I get very few drop shots in a sequence. And I'm talking about subject matter that's coming towards the camera very, very quickly. And so all of the uh, lens elements must move rapidly. And I know possibly the motors are responsible for that fast movement. So what I'm really surprised about now is I expect those linear motors to be in my sporting telephoto zoom lenses, but I've noticed that um, some of the lenses that I would normally associate with maybe shooting portraits, like this 135 G Master lens, is also able to keep up with rapidly moving subjects. So when I was testing and reviewing this lens, I was shooting portraits, but then I started shooting portraits of people on um, cycles coming towards me at, uh, as you know these people were really motoring and I was realizing I could shoot portraits of people rapidly moving mm -hmm. and this was a great surprise and then I realized by looking at the spec list that we had dual linear XD motors that I'd seen in the 400G master lens when I was shooting the Moto GP. So it's great that we're able now to use lenses, these black lenses, <laughs> with the ultra wide apertures to shoot sports action if we can get close enough to that action. Yeah, well, I think it's, what's surprising for a lot of people is that, um, especially with the 135 G Mask, like you said, having those dual XD linear motors, it takes it from being what in the past may have been referred to as just a portrait lens, mm -hmm. and it's now opened it up to a whole world of sports journalism, news, um, just, it's a completely genre-less yeah. lens. It's not stuck yeah. into one field. Yeah, and I think what, what you're getting from this um, lens is what we're not getting from these uh, telephoto zooms. We're, we're sort of like down to f5.6, 6.3 on the telephoto zooms. But remember, this has got a 1.8 aperture. And if we're getting close to the subject matter, we're getting that beautiful figure ground separation, the bokeh in the background. But uh, we're doing it with the lens that can keep up with that rapidly moving subject. So uh, that's a great opportunity now for us to um, go in and have a, a deep dive look at what is an XD or linear motor and how do they actually work. So let's go inside the lenses and have a look at the actual autofocus motors inside there. So we'll start with the 100 to 400 mm G Master. This lens features two different types of autofocus motors. At the front we have a DD SSM or direct drive supersonic wave motor at the front to push and pull those larger lens elements and at the rear of the lens we have dual linear motors. So two different autofocus motors there working in combination to achieve fast accurate autofocus. We move on to the 400mm f2.8 prime. This features a large set of XD linear motors. So we see the numbers one and two there so there's a motor on each side of the lens uh, that's a big motor, it's a big lens, and it's able to push and pull those large en lens elements backwards and forwards quickly, quietly, and proficiently to obtain sharp, accurate autofocus. Next up, we have the lens that Mark was talking about earlier. It's the 135 f1.8 G Master. And you can see that as technology has evolved, we've been able to fit uh, dual double XD linear motors into this lens. So we have two XD linear motors at the front of the lens and two XD linear motors at the rear of the lens. So that's gonna give you fast, accurate autofocus as well. Uh, and obviously the more linear motors we've got, the faster, the better the autofocus is going to be. Next up is the 20mm F1.8G, a uh, small compact G series lens, uh, ultra wide angle, but it also features the dual XD linear motors. So you've got, again, they're numbered one and two, 
uh, two XD linear motors in that lens. And now we move on to a short video clip where you can actually see these uh, XD linear motors in action. So this is inside the lens as the motors are actually um, working, moving backwards and forwards. And because of the fact that it is contactless, so there's no gears, there's no drives contacting each other, it's completely silent, the electromagnets are able to stop and start precisely in small increments, uh, the ability to start and stop accurately and fast, and more importantly, getting that fine autofocus nailed um, to keep up with fast action. Okay, so I hope that information was useful to you. I hope you learned something about the autofocus motors in these lenses. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the info below the movie and we'll catch you online next time.